Welcome back to the Wild Cherry Farm. Today I don't really feel like being in front of the camera so I decided to just do a few autumn doodles and painting and talk over that. So I hope you enjoy. This morning I started writing morning pages again and I'm really excited um, to keep writing them over the next few months as part of the Artist Way group that I'm, I started yesterday. Um, there was another book that I read a few years ago. I started reading um, by Julia Cameron and it's called Walking in this World, the Practical Art of Creativity. I think it's kind of a sequel to the, the first book, The Artist Way. And one of the assignments was to find 20 small creative actions that you could take and just write them down. Make a list of 20. I think this is very powerful because you can make this list and don't turn it into a to-do list, but more of a possibility list. So first you just write down the numbers 1 to 20 and then you brainstorm and you just come up with lots of tiny little creative actions. They could be anything. Making a pot of soup is a creative act. Or buying new strings for my guitar. Just setting out my paints and paintbrushes on the table. Just have everything ready. That in itself can be a little creative act. Listen to a beautiful piece of music. Listen to some new music that I never tried before. Watch an old movie from the 50s or 40s. Or even a new movie. They are creative pieces of art. Many of them. Clearing a space to make room for something new. So just see whatever you come up with. And that even in itself is a creative act. To think of 20 things that you could do. And who knows, maybe one of them might inspire you to start something. So a list that I wrote uh, two years ago, for example, was one sew a new kitchen sponge by hand, two, sew a belt by hand, three, and maybe embroider the belt, four, put a patch onto the knees of my son's pants, five, and maybe embroider the patch, six, print out pictures from things we did in March, seven, and make a scrap page for March for my folder. 8. Draw a buzzard from a photograph. 9. And add a few things I read about buzzards in Ireland. 10. Sew a simple skirt for myself. 11. And maybe embroider the skirt. 12. Take pictures of all these activities. 13. And write about some of them on my blog. 14. Print out poems for April. 15. Pick out a spring craft to do with the kids or on my own. I wrote this in spring, obviously. 16. Pick out a craft from making toys with children, which is a book I have. 17. And then write about them. 18. Or make a video. 19. Wear my dangly earrings more often. 20. Book a massage. Yeah, so even self-care actions can be creative actions. Um, I also wrote back then, today I thought of another two ideas and suddenly I felt inspired to try one of them. I took one of our old dusty guitars and found an online tuner that helped me to get her tuned again. Then I sat on a blanket in our garden and started strumming and singing for our chickens. It was so much fun. I remembered a few songs I used to play many years ago and the words still flowed easily. My fingers started hurting quickly, but I'm determined to try it again tomorrow. 
Yes, so it was really nice to uh, start playing the guitar back then again. And I actually have played a few times since. And my two older kids started playing as well. So they got inspired by me playing. So it's always nice to just do tiny little things. You never know where they lead. If you are inspired to do um, this exercise, let me know in the comments just a few of the things even that you come up with or all of them if you want. I would love to hear. Thanks very much for watching and talk to you soon.